as we all know, sound is a huge part of the picture. And bringing us into the picture here is Tom from Rode. What has Rode brought to the photography show this year? Because you've got some new toys this year. We have indeed, yeah. So we brought a little bit of everything. So usual foray of video mics. Uh, the new one uh, that everyone may have not seen yet is the Video Mic Go 2. Uh, which is a shrunk down version of the NTG. Yep. Uh, technically, same chassis, different feature set, but yeah, that's our new video mic. Chat us through the feature set very quickly. Why would I choose that over the NTG? Uh, first, obviously, is price point. Yep. It's a lot cheaper. Um, and this is plug and play. So uh, the, the whole reason behind the, uh, the Go namesake, especially with the wireless Go, is it is plug and play. It's Go, plug and go. Into what? DSLR. Yep. or any kind of application that you'd use uh, plug-in power. Yep. Um, and uh, it also serves as a USB microphone as well. And the mini jack output becomes a headphone output. So you can use that for your Skype conferencing, Teams calls, all that kind of stuff, or plug it into a smartphone, that kind of thing. So not just an on-camera, yep. quite a, a flexible beast in its own right. Uh, same annular line tube technology from our flagship shotguns from the uh, NTG5 and from the uh, video mic NTG as well. So it's very high quality, redu reduced feature set, but very high quality sound. And, and in terms of that, that Go series, you, you had the uh, wireless Go 2, that's been out for a little over a year now, yeah. which uh, I've got the original wireless Go, it's great. Probably need to get the wireless Go 2 sooner or later. Um, what else have you got down, down that end? Because you've got some other familiar, but new looking stuff for more of the studio setup. Have indeed. So uh, first thing first, probably, Another thing you guys may have not seen are ta -da, our NTH100s, which are our first headphones. So this is Rode finally going end to end from the, from the input to the output. What's so special about these, apart from the fact that they're your first? Well, they are the most comfortable headphones I've ever worn in my life. All right, now that's a challenge if I ever heard one. Uh, listen, Tom, hold that for me. The Pepsi hold the microphone. The Pepsi challenge. Okay, so, I mean, there's a lot of noise isolation there for a start, and even though this is a, quite a soft cup do, do around my ear. you feel the minty coolness? The, the, the what? The ear cups, the minty coolness is what I call it. So the ear cups have cool gel in them to keep your ears cold. Right. Okay, and I, I do suffer from that problem when, I've got, when I'm on an all-day edit. Yeah. Hot ear syndrome. Yeah. They're, they're really nice, actually. Yeah. And, and in terms of terms of audio capabilities, I'm guessing that they've you know got good frequency response and all the other things that audio files like to talk about. Absolutely. So uh, without getting super super techy, they are uh, acoustically inert, effectively. So they're designed to be incredibly flat with a very true response, um, very high performance at a very low price point. Let's move into the studio because I can see some more of those headphones uh, mounted on some some new arms, I think. Yes, Tell me about these. Uh, the new PSA 1 Plus. So we didn't have these uh, last year. We had the uh, original PSA 1s. So I've got the original yep. PSA 1 in my studio and I use that to mount quite quite a heavy mic. This is... This looks different, so tell me what the plus is on the PSA1 now. So a few, a few things that we changed in the design, so the actual through table clamp uh, now actually has a slot for running the cables through the table. We didn't bore big enough holes to show you that, I'm afraid. Um, we've also got neoprene uh, covering for the moving pieces, so there's no trapping your finger in the shoulders or anything like that anymore. Also built-in cable management. And we also drastically redesigned. Okay, let's the, uh, swing this around. Yeah, that does look quite different. So that's sort of loosely inspired by the clasp on the pod mic here. Uh, so it gives you uh, way more ability to get the mic at the exact position, especially if you're using a pivot here and a pivot in like your shock mount per se. So you can get it really low, you can get it super high. I have mine behind a monitor coming out over the top. It's a, it's a very, very usable thing and uh, yeah it, it feels a lot nicer with this neoprene on it you can grab it and it's just yeah it's lovely it's really nice good stuff and uh, well th this gentleman's having a play on a new bit of kit uh, well Ooh. an updated bit of kit again the Roadcaster Pro 2 tell us about the power-ups that you put into that so this is the uh, <laughs> the sports car as I like to put it this is the Lamborghini of uh, of Rode at the moment, in my opinion. So, uh, Rodecaster Pro 2, obviously, uh, second generation of our very popular uh, production system, the Rodecaster. So, improvements on this are 
numerous, but I'll give you the, uh, the let's say, the top five. So uprate your preamps, you have the ability to uh, route channels uh, in a myriad of different ways. You have the ability to support two computers. So you can have, for a streaming perspective, you can have a streaming computer and um, like a, an audio computer doing your audio management as well. Um, what else did we put in there? Uh, MIDI control on the pads, so you could control something like OBS yeah, yeah. with the pads and do like switching, that kind of stuff. Um, new effects processors for the audio inputs and master compressor for the outputs. Uh, um, there's, there's so many more, I can't... I mean, in terms of use cases for this, with the original, you know, a lot of people were talking about it in terms of obviously live streaming, but also in terms of mobile podcast production. You know, we all know the direction that podcasts have been in and being able to take your mini podcast studio out on the road, yeah. fantastic. But here, it looks as though it's it's covering a few more um, boats now, doesn't it? It's, uh, it's covering a few more and it's covering those pre-existings better. So it's a more capable podcasting machine than the original, better sound quality, more uh, configurability. But the dual audio interfaces mean that you can do so much more with it, like I alluded to, having the two PCs, having a, an iPad with your Spotify playlist streaming out to this PC, having two phones connected, and there, there's a whole myriad of different things you can do with it now that you couldn't do with the original. Well, listen, Tom, thank you so much for uh, showing us your, your, your new audio gear this year. And uh, like I say, there's a lot a lot of stuff from the capture down to the output as, as well as the bit in the middle there with the uh, uh, Redcaster 2 uh, to be very excited about. Thank you very much. Um, I just, yeah, I, I, I'm actually one more thing before we do wrap up. Uh, you put a lot of effort into your stand and into the products that you bring to the photography show. What, what do you get from that? What, what's, the, what's the benefit that you get from being here, would you say? It is talking to users, people that say, I've got that and it's great. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of uh, heartwarming to know that those products are in the world, people are using them and they appreciate them. I really, really enjoy that part. And solving problems for people as well. I love it. Well, that's heartwarming to hear. Tom, thank you very much indeed. Cheers.